Don't you realize that you are now the master of your destiny? And if you as a grown person want to continue to blame the white man, blame your father, blame your mother, blame the educator. I had a bad teacher. I went to that dumb school over there. I, I was in reform school. I went to jail. But is he telling the truth or no? This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, the money's acting funny. Change is a little strange. We got 50% off clearance items. Um, also, we got bundles. Jesus is Lord. You got to get it today. All of our new merch is out. All of our beanies are selling out like hot cakes. And, and I want to make sure I announce this thing because um, I, I want people to understand we have these exclusive discounts. We, we believe in our, in our military personnel. You could be active. You could be a veteran or you're a dependent of somebody in the military. First responders, you got nurses, doctors, teachers, students, uh, senior citizens, truck drivers. And also, if your money's acting funnier and the change is a little stranger and you find yourself on disability or you're low income on food stamps, we have a discount for you. I, we want everybody to be able to be a part of of shopping at the officer tatum store so get your merch today like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you can get notification anytime i go live and make a video make sure you still subscribe to this channel like this video share this video let's get into this ladies and gentlemen i do not necessarily agree with louis farrakhan however i'm a type of person that when i hear truth i'm going to uh, uh express truth or i'm going to present truth to you because there's not many people that will say the things that this gentleman is saying. Now, I know people ain't going to like it sometime because Louis Farrakhan be saying some racist stuff. But however, is this point relevant to the black community or not? Nah? Because people love to listen to Farrakhan. They love to espouse Brother Farrakhan. But are they listening to what he's saying here because i'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of people calling me out my name uncle tom coon sell out boot licking working for the white man you wish you was a a a, 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 a white boot licker or whatever they say whatever they say all kinds of stuff but then again they love people like him they they, they look up to men like him but he's saying what i'm saying but y'all ain't listening roll, roll the clip don't listen to me hey, you a big Grown hulk, 25, 30 years old, you blaming your mother and your father for your shortcoming? Don't you realize that you are now the master of your destiny? And if you as a grown person want to continue to blame the white man, blame your father, blame your mother, blame the educator. I had a bad teacher. I went to that dumb school over there. I, I was in reform school. I went to jail. I went to here. Every place you've been is school. And if you learn what you're supposed to learn, you come out of of wherever you've been with a determination to become your own master i'm gonna stop it there because he get crazy when he get crazier he get racist on the end he starts saying slurs against white people um, but he's espousing what black people need to do to be successful stop blaming your father now at some point you needed your father but you grown now stop blaming your father Stop blaming the school you went to. Stop blaming what your mama did, and did or did not do. Stop blaming your situation. You went to jail, but you free now. Let me say this, because this is what he said, and I think it was, it was brilliant. Every situation is an opportunity to learn. And this is not just for black folks. It's especially for black, but this is not just for black folks. Everything that you go through is an opportunity for you to learn. If you learn from it, you will become better. If you don't learn from it, you'll be eating out of the trash can, blaming the white man forever. You got to learn. Learn your history. Learn what really happened so that you can become better in the future. What did what happened to black Americans post slavery before the civil rights movement? What there was an explosion of wealth. There was an explosion of inventions. People like uh, Booker T. Washington with the Tuskegee Institute, Madam C.J. Walker, 
the richest woman in the first female to be a millionaire out of any woman of any race in the early 1900s. Mint Harlem, Black Wall Street in the 20s. Black people were exploding with technology, with, with ownership, had theaters, bus line, schools, you name it. Learn your history and stop blaming somebody else. And if you look at the person in the mirror, and I'm preaching, put your offering in the offering plate. If you, if you learn to look at the man or the woman in the mirror, you will be successful. Look at that person and say, why are you not succeeding? Why, how come you keep getting turned down at a job? It ain't, don't look at the white man. Don't look at the, what are you doing? Why are you not valuing your body and you giving it to every man that hits you up in the DMs? Why are you not valuing your body, young man, and you trying to sleep with every single woman that you see at, at the nightclub? Why are you not valuing who you are and your full potential? Why are you not studying and getting straight A's in that class? You want to stick it to the white man, outdo the white man. You want to stick it to somebody, outdo them, outperform them, become a better version of yourself. These are elements of our society that we are lacking. And that's why we see the things that are going on today. Everything is a lesson learned. Everything you do is a part of your testimony. That at one point, one day, you will be able to share that to bless other people. One moment, one day, you will be able to share that within yourself to make yourself better in the future. But ladies and gentlemen, you may not agree with the prophet Elijah, uh, whatever his name is, Farrakhan, uh, whatever his name, Louis Farrakhan. I thought they may have Elijah Louis Farrakhan or something there. You know how they do it. But you may not agree with everything you say. But, 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 but I'm showing people that y'all listen to some people that y'all respect saying the same thing I'm saying. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. We hear we hear success stories all over the country. It's funny when you play sports, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps is not a is not a a weird concept. Nobody in sports is blaming a white man. You're going out, you're working out at the gym, and you're showing up on game day and you're performing. Why, why can't we do that in life? Why can't we do that in life? Why can't we teach our young people that your education is the is your key to success? You get educated, you learn something, you learn a skill, learn a trade. Make yourself valuable in society and you will be a millionaire if you decide to. If you help a million people, you can be a millionaire. I want us to change. And and and, and I, at the beginning I said, you know, I'm tired of people calling me. I really don't care. I feel I feel more uh, uh, of sympathy for those people because they're lost. And I was once lost at, at a period of time where I thought the same way. The white man is doing this. The white man is doing that. Then when I got older and I became a man, I said, well, no, it's me. Because when I go back and look, I, I don't remember a white man taking the test for me. I don't remember a white man in my house studying either. I don't remember a white man stopping me from working out in the gym. White man stopping me from getting a scholarship to play at the University of Arizona. There wasn't a white man that stopped me from doing anything. No white man came and grabbed the back of my shirt and took me in some somebody's house and made and forced me to have a kid out of wedlock. I, I don't remember a white man doing that. It was me. Me and only me. And when I trust God, it was me and God that have moved forward to this point. And I hope that this video blessed somebody. I hope that you find that it, it changes somebody's heart. And if this ain't for you, send it to somebody that you know is for them. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out.